Hello, good morning. It's Tracy Daviero here with you from Your VA Mentor. How are you doing today? I've, um, I'm changing up these, these live videos that I do for you so that they are a little more casual. And um, you might even see me walking around my property. We've done uh, a lot of work around here this year. And so, um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's fall. It's super sunny out today. I got the sun right there. But uh, we will try to manage that. And so, um, yeah, I just want to be a little more casual. Talk to you about not so much uh, three tips, four things, that uh, topics that I've talked about before. We have tons of videos, tons of videos for you on the YouTube channel. Um, and tons of tons of videos for you in the uh, Facebook group. So wherever you're viewing this is, um, you know, one of the two places that I put them, right? So I do them in the, the, the live group and then I also move them over to YouTube. So wherever you're looking, hello and welcome. Uh, I just wanted to um, let you know that the format will change slightly. Sometimes I'll still do my best three tips for, uh, you know, for setting your rates or doing whatever. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is something that, um, that is relevant. So I've, I'm, see, yeah, new routine. So hair is down today because uh, I'm just a little tired of tying it up. So, um, so uh, the thing that I want to talk to you about today is focusing on just one thing. And the reason that this is important and the reason that this is sort of timely for me is that I've started a new routine. And so um, I think I may have talked to you about my new walking routine in the morning. A few weeks ago, I started doing um, uh, sort of a 30 minute walk. So got on the high blood pressure medications over COVID and, and my doctor told me that I should be walking 30 minutes a day, which I never have. I'm not, a, I'm not an exercise person. Um, that's kind of the one thing that always seems to elude me. I start it and then I don't like it. And so anyway, um, you know, they're, they're, the recommendation was to walk for 30 minutes a day and so uh, I did finally just start it. It took me a couple of months to get the get the uh, lead out of my butt if you want to call it that and uh, get up and do it and I'm actually really really enjoying it so I just get up in the morning I'm up super early anyway I always get up around 5 or 5.30, usually about 5.30, and um, I was just kind of killing time. I was doing, you know, I was doing a little bit of planning, I was doing a little bit of reading, I was doing a little, I would, you know, go and get in our pool, I would do lots of different kinds of things before I started my work day, but what I realized is this would be a really ideal time for me to actually go out and do my walk. So I did start doing that, started doing my walk and, and uh, walk different distances every day, uh, don't I've done uh, six just over 6k but on a regular basis I'm probably doing about two but it's about getting out for the 30 minutes right and just just getting out it's nice it's peaceful it's quiet it's um, uh, you know there's lots of traffic in the morning near near where I live but um, everybody's pretty manageable so it's really nice and and I know that I'm doing something good for myself so I just focused on that one thing I thought I'm just gonna start to do those 30 minute walks that my doctor told me because then when I do my follow-up um, appointment with her in I think it's in December I just want to have a better report I want her to be proud of me does anybody else want their doctor to be proud of them so so I'm focusing on that one thing and um, it's actually making a huge difference to be quite honest and it's the same thing in your business whenever you focus on one thing that's the thing that you put I just have a flyaway paper here hold on um, but that's the thing that that is going to get better for you I know whenever we're starting our business or whenever we're trying to figure out what to do uh, you know with anything in our business we tend to write down that you know that big long list of things that you need to get done and we try to tackle it all at once it's very very challenging to do that and it can make you really kind of fall off your routine wagon um, very very often it's it happened to me before so here's an here's an example I'll give you a, a real life example and this is kind of what I want to do with with these lives is talk to you a little bit more about um, you know about real life versus business and how things kind of connect like that so so I also this week started a, a body what the heck's it called beach body I started beach body workouts a friend of mine is a beach body coach she just started and she's lovely she does yoga she teaches yoga which I love I love yoga and um, so anyway she's starting this 21 day challenge for uh, Beachbody and 
it's got you know it's a great price you get all the stuff I don't I'm not really into the supplements and all that kind of thing but I wanted the accountability because I feel like as the weather starts to cool down a little bit I'm the only one sort of doing my walks right I walk with my friend on Wednesday we actually talk on the phone um, because she she lives far away from me but we both walk at the same time but other than that I'm on my own and so I know myself I know my mind and I just think sometimes I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm not gonna want to go anymore so I want to really get that push I've been doing it for over two weeks now um, the walking on my own and um, you know I know that there might be some lousy weather days and that kind of thing coming up so I really want to push to keep the momentum going and so I decided to join this this uh, MBR challenge it's called with my friend and so but what I'm seeing and this is why I'm talking about focusing on just one thing what I'm seeing from the ladies in the group who are um, uh, yeah, who are in the group with us, is that they're changing so many things at once. They're changing their routine, they're changing the way they eat, they're changing, you know, adding workouts into what it is that they're doing, and it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming, right? So when you want to be able to do something well, it's really important just to focus on one thing at a time. So for me, and I, I know that the whole challenge thing, you know, brings in, you have to do your nutrition, you have to do the, the routine, you have to do the workouts, you have to do everything. Um, but to me, that's really overwhelming. And so I, I'm already, I already eat really well. I do um, a very good job. I, I mean, I, I don't eat perfectly all the time, but I, you know, I do, I eat a lot of veggies and, and uh, a lot of really good food and, and that kind of thing. So I don't really have to worry about the nutrition piece of this workouts thing, but I do have to do the workouts. That's my one thing. Because I'm doing my walks, which I enjoy, so that's not something that I really have to push myself to do yet. But I really do want to get, you know, a little jump on the motivation, on the accountability, on all that kind of thing. So for me, in that program, I'm focusing on just one thing, and that's the workouts. Doing the workouts every day. I hate working out. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it at all. But um, I do it. I'm doing it. I've done it for two days. Okay. So, but I have to do it for 21 days because they say that's how you form a habit. And it's the, it's really important in your business to do the same thing. You're going to stress yourself out. You're going to um, probably stop doing some of the things that you plan to do. Like I say, you make that big list and you have a million things to get done. You try to do a little bit every day. You try to do a, you know, a lot of different things at once. It can really, really crowd your, first of all, your schedule, but also your brain. It's really, really important to be able to focus on just one thing that you are trying to get to. So it's like, it's like taking, um, uh, it's like doing um, endurance running versus like a, a dash, right? In in high school, I always did the uh, the short distances. I was never really good at, at the endurance and the long distances, which all my friends and family were really good at. But but it's important because you you set your goal here or you set your task. And then you just focus on that until you get to that 100 yard finish line or whatever it is. And you're going to get more things done. So it's really important to say if you are looking to um, get your packages set up for your business as a, as a complete example here, okay? Um, and I'm doing this off the cuff, like I said. So I'll try and figure out where my mind is going right now. So if you are looking to create packages in your business, then focus just on that. Say, okay, what are the services I'm going to offer? And pick three. Like it's, you have to be decisive and you have to say, okay, what am I going to do? Pick three and decide that, you know, you're going to build three packages for that. You're not going to try and incorporate absolutely everything that you do in your business. And so what do you have to do for those things? You have to choose the services. You have to figure out how long everything takes you to do and you have to set a price for it and you have to identify that that price is going to be viable, like for your market, that your people will actually pay it. So these are the things that you want to look at. That's what you focus on. Say, take one week now and focus on just that. Say, okay, these are the things that I need to work out. Pop it into your schedule. Say, these are the days I'm going to sit and, and either do a little bit of research. Don't do hours and hours of research. You can just ask people a couple of questions and that's research. But, <clears throat> but I have to do a little bit of research. I have to do a little bit of math. I have to do a little bit of decision making and sometimes that means making a list of things and then setting it aside and coming back to it later on. So that, then I have to do that. Then I have to come up with the packages and then, you know, maybe you have to put them out there for your audience. Maybe you have to ask your audience if, if this is something that, that is viable for them or maybe the next week. So now this week you plan your packages, which you can do really quickly if you're decisive and if you've done the actual research and, and the math. 
And then next week you say, okay, I'm going to approach uh, 10 people about my packages. So you want to get out to your networking places, wherever those are, online, in person, um, or virtual now. A lot of people are still doing virtual. Um, and I need to reach out to 10 people about that. Again, focus just on that. Just get in touch with the 10 people. And then identify how did those calls go or how did those connections go? Do I need to reach out to more people? The, that's the way you're going to build the forward momentum in your in your uh, business is by focusing on something. Like I say, I'm in a 21 day challenge right now. I would offer you a 21 day challenge to get a client. I don't think it's hard to do. I know it's not hard to do because I, I have done it and I continue to do it all the time. When you focus on that, if you're sitting around wondering why you don't have any clients, look at the last five days that you've spent. What have you been doing to get clients? How many people have you actually asked to work with you? And my guess is going to be not very many because the more people you ask, the easier it gets, the more confident you get, the, the more uh, you're building your sort of pipeline of people, right? Like your little, uh, your little list of people that uh, you can do follow up. And it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean you have to do a newsletter and all that. That's not the kind of list I'm talking about. But, you know, I have a follow up list. I talk, I talk to so many people every day, write them down. I decide who it is that I'm going to call back this week. And when you are constantly reaching out to people and talking to people, you're just going to end up with clients. It's just, it's natural. There's no other way that it's going to happen. It, the problem comes whenever you stop talking to people, you stop, you know, you're waiting for them to call you and or you're just mulling in the fact that you don't have any clients and you're consistently wasting your time doing something else focus 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 so focus on whatever it is you want to do if you need to get your rate set if you're trying to create packages if you're trying to get clients focus on that one thing develop a plan or you know have somebody like me help you de develop a plan and if you can't do it on your own and just really focus on that one thing and you're going to get there. For me, I've already got baggy capri pants on, which is like super exciting because I've only been walking for uh, two and a half weeks, I guess. And I'm, I'm noticing a huge difference. I put on a pair of pants the other day that I haven't worn, well, I haven't worn out in a long time. I've worn them in my house, but uh, I knew that they were too tight and I wasn't very happy with them and they're literally baggy on me. So things happen quickly, guys, whenever you really focus on it, when you put in the work and you put in the effort. So I hope that's helpful for you today. Um, and I'd love to hear questions and comments on uh, anything in terms of focusing and if you're struggling with it ask questions I can help you um, if you uh, have some great tips and tactics that you use that work for you would love to hear that too so I uh, just wanted to come to you this morning and talk about focus let's see what you can do in 21 days take care